What's good, Facebook? This your boy, Jay Wayne, representing music for the soul. But today, we're not talking about music. We're talking about fitness. We're starting it off with the right mindset for dieting. That's the first thing we need to get understood. And I just want to say that dieting, trying to cut, trying to get those abs popping, just trying to be healthy and just look good overall, right? It's not for the weak. It's not for the person that just want to give up as soon as they feel some pain. Two weeks in, they tired. The bones is aching. And now they just quit. And they go back to eating any kind of way. It's not for the weak. You have to be mentally strong. You have to talk to yourself and encourage yourself through this journey. Because it's not going to happen overnight. The more you weigh, the more you are overweight, the longer it's going to take. But it's okay. Enjoy the journey. You have to find a way to stay motivated. If that means if you did cardio for three times, uh, three for three days, 30 minutes, then reward yourself. Go get a new workout outfit. You know, uh, reward yourself. Find a way to stay motivated. Look at YouTube videos, fitness videos, stay motivated. These are the things that help me. These are the things that can help you. Take one day at a time, you know. It's one day at a time. It's going in on Monday, executing, only thinking about Monday, getting enough sleep, eating enough food, healthy foods, and waking up Tuesday and getting it in again. And only focusing on that day, one day at a time. It's a journey. And we have to enjoy the journey. We can't expect quick results. It's not going to happen. Really, our bodies, you can, you can diet for four months and lose 17 pounds. And in one month, you gain 10 of them back. 10 pounds back. That's the way it is. So... We can't expect quick results. It, it's easy to get fat, but it takes lower longer to lose it. I, I will say one thing that can help you is educating yourself on fitness. The more you put yourself in this environment, the more you surround yourself around people that's doing the same thing, that has the same goal, losing weight, getting fit. That will encourage you. That will motivate you. Get around those people. It's not going to be a lot of people because a lot of most people are obese and overweight. But it's a few people in every circle. Find those people, connect with those people and stay encouraged and build with those type of people. And then at, at some point, as we all know, when you dieting, the foods that you crave starts to pop up at church, at work. They start to pop up. Well, if you're feeling like you're weak, you got to stay away from it. It's simple as that. Stay away from it. You might have to stay away. You might can't look at an ad for too long. Selling fast food hamburgers, you might got to get away from that. Because for me, my craving for cakes is out of control. So I know when I'm getting weak, I have to stay away. When I walk into Walmart, I don't even look to the left because all the cakes are to the left. I keep focused. I have a plan, I know what I'm buying, and I go in and execute, get the food, and I get out. That's how it has to be. Because the cravings is real. And not everybody crave cakes. But yours might be food, yours might be pop, yours might be, yours might be candy. Just stay focused, guys. I believe in you. Get it done, man. Four months. Is a good time to diet and see a, 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 a good amount of weight loss. Four months will be here with you or without you. And you have to make up in your mind if you're going to be at your goal and make a great weight loss in four months. If you can't focus on four months, then do two months. Make your goal specific. Don't say, I want to lose this much pound. No, say, I have a specific goal. I want to weigh a size 34 in pants. 
I want to wear a size 34 in pants. And every day you eat for that goal. And every day you eat. We cannot look at food as something we just have to enjoy. We do want our food enjoyable. But when you diet and you only have so many foods. And I'm going to tell you in another video what are the foods that we need to be eating. But when you diet and you don't have all those greasy fats, which makes the food taste good. We don't have all those high sugars, which makes the food taste good. And so we can't be just sitting around the table saying, oh, I just want to enjoy this meal. Oh, this meal about to be juicy. No, we can't look at it like that. We have to change our mindset. We have to say, this food is for function. This food is going to help me function. This food, eating, eating these turkey burgers, is what's going to help me get to my weight loss goal. It's going to help me. It's going to get me there. So let's not try to indulge in the enjoyment and the taste of it, but rather let's change our mindsets and focus on the function of it, the results, the goals that we're going to get from it. And so when you're two weeks in, two months in, and you say, I'm just eating the same old thing, it won't bother you as bad because you know the function of it. You know where you're going to get from eating it. So that's my encouragement today. That's the mindset. That's the right mindset for dieting. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you stay encouraged. I hope you fight. And most of all, I hope you enjoy the journey. I'm your boy Jay Wayne. Peace.